This is more governing through fear mongering without actual evidence. So let's talk about all social media companies, what the harms are, and then write federal legislation to deal with those issues instead of scapegoating TikTok. 150 million Americans are on TikTok. They use it for entertainment, they use it for education, they use it to be a part of a community, not for nefarious reasons. That was New York Congressman Jamal Bowman defending TikTok today as his colleagues on both sides of the aisle grilled the CEO of the highly popular social media app that's owned by a Chinese parent company over security and privacy. Bowman appears to stand mostly alone on Capitol Hill with members of Congress and the administration considering banning the app. A move speaker, Kevin McCarthy, came out in support of today. That's a clear sign that it's wrong. NBC's Savannah Sellers has the latest. We will protect the U.S. user data. And TikTok's top executive under fire for over five hours today. TikTok poses as a Mr. Rogers neighborhood, but it acts like Big Brother. The hugely popular app known for short videos like this in the spotlight today for this. What your relationship is with the Communist Party. CEO Sho Chu answering questions about whether the app owned by ByteDance, a Chinese company, is a national security threat given a Chinese law that could allow the government to access user data. I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. They have never asked us. We have not provided. Well, you know what? I've I, asked find that that, I find that actually preposterous. I, I have uh, I, I, looked I, I, in. I have really seen no evidence of this happening. TikTok has 150 million users in the U.S. and a billion worldwide, many of them teenagers. The White House has given the company an ultimatum, sell the company or face a ban in the U.S., as the Justice Department and FBI investigate whether ByteDance illegally surveilled journalists. Has ByteDance spied on American citizens? I don't think the spying is the right way to describe it. Another concern from both sides of the aisle, misinformation. The dangerous misinformation that you mentioned is not allowed on our platform. It violates them. I'm sorry to report it is on your platform, though. Uh, uh, Congresswoman, I, I don't think I can sit here and say that we are perfect in doing this. We do work very hard. Chu says TikTok's top priorities are protecting user safety, especially for teenagers, securing U.S. data, and being a place for free expression. Despite the company's reassurances, 43 states have already banned, restricted, or are considering to ban TikTok on government devices. So much of the community I've created is, is on TikTok. That's what I've devoted my life to working and creating for. Duncan Joseph makes a living creating TikTok videos for his 4.5 million followers. Do you think that the lawmakers who are asking the questions today understand TikTok? I think there are some people that definitely have never used the app, haven't even seen it working. And you can tell because one even one lawmaker even called it TikTok. 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 In the know or not, lawmakers believe the data concern is real. I want to say this to all the teenagers out there who think we're just old and out of touch and don't know what we're talking about, trying to take away your favorite app. You may not care that your data is being accessed now, but it will be one day when you do care about it. The insurrection all but started on Facebook, but TikTok is a problem. That's tonight's readout. Thank you so very much for joining us.